Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 USA. 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 Wow. Thank you. And by, by the way, that's my main message here is thank you. Th thank you for coming and showing your support for the next President of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Thank you for understanding that he didn't have to do this. He had a great life. He didn't have to risk his life. He didn't have to give up that life. He did it because he, like you, loves this country. He fervently loves this country. And by the way, he was 100% correct when he said, you cannot lead America if you do not love Americans. I would add, and if you do not love America, you know, a lot has been made of, of the garbage comment. By the way, wasn't that brilliant up in Green Bay? The garbage truck, the orange vest. By the way, I think it did make them look thinner, right? But well, let's face it, that calling you garbage is not a one-off. I mean, we, we've seen that time and time again. President Biden thought half of you, half America, potest, potential domestic terrorists. H Hillary Clinton called you deplorable. <laughs> Vice President Harris thinks you love Nazis and fascists. <laughs> President Obama, Obama thinks you get bitter and cling to your guns and your religion. Is there something wrong with that? But again, that just shows you the disdain the Democrat leaders, and I'm talking about their leaders, half for half American. Quite honestly, I don't think they really respect their own voters. Because they, they sure don't enact policies that help the, the lower income individuals that they purport to represent. Not at all. But again, that, that's, that just proves that they don't love Americans. But as President Obama, if you remember this, five days before he got elected, he said, in five days, we're going to fundamentally transform America. Now, now I have to ask, do you even like, much less love something you want to fundamentally transform? The, the analogy I use is, I, I wake up in the morning, I look at Jane and say, Jane, I love you. Now I'm going to change everything about you. You need a little fundamental transformation. That wouldn't go over very well. But, but what we're finding is not only does that indicate that they don't particularly like this country if they want to fundamentally change it, what we're finding out is their fundamental change, their fundamental transformation is they are fundamentally destroying America. Which is the other thing I want to thank you for, coming here and understanding our nation is in peril because of Democrat governance. Their open borders. Their 40 year high inflation. You know, you're spending $1,000 more a month just to live than you had to spend at the start of the Biden administration. There weren't fossil fuels. I mean, all these policies of, their, of theirs, all their ideology is weakening America and emboldening our enemies, which has set the world on fire. Have you had enough of it? Yeah. Are you ready to fix it? Yeah. Well, the good news is we can elect President Trump, who has a record of fixing things. He has the policies, and we know he does because he enacted them before. Lower taxes, less regulations, no more wars. And what President Trump does not get enough credit for is the complete realignment 
of our politics. Have you noticed now that Democrats are the party of the elite? They're the ones that have all the billionaires. President Trump has made the Republican Party the party of the working men and women of America that make this country great. He's also assembled a group of leaders from across the political spectrum. Bobby Kennedy, Tulsi Gabbard, Elon Musk, and last Wednesday, Brett Favre. By the way, if, if you weren't able to watch Brett's endorsement speech, go on YouTube and watch it. It was, it was tremendous. It was so heartfelt. It was so genuine. You know, Brett has never done anything political. It's pretty dangerous for somebody like him in his position to do so. But he's so concerned about what is happening in this country like you are. He's so concerned about his children and his grandchildren, he had to speak up. And God bless him for doing it. So again, I don't know what Brett's prior politics were. I know what Bobby Kennedy's Tulsi Gabbard's were. Again, I don't necessarily agree with everything that they believe in. They don't agree with everything that we believe in. But this is what we have all in common, is these are individuals that love this country like we do, like President Trump does. They're smart people. They're very smart people. They also recognize that it is the Democrat Party and Democrat leaders that are the threat to our democracy. Not us, them. And I give President Trump and Bobby Kennedy so much credit for laying their differences aside and focusing on an air agreement, in this case, chronic illness, a major problem we have to deal with. But in doing that, in solving that problem together, they are de demonstrating to all of us how you set your differences aside, focus on air's agreement. That is how you heal and unify a very divided nation. I was, I was at an event on Tuesday with Bobby Kennedy and Tulsi Gabbard, probably about 1,000 people in Madison. And, and, and Tulsi got up and she just asked the crowd, now, how many of you are either Democrats or former Democrats? About half the audience raised their hand. I was so grateful to see that. Because I truly believe, whether you're independent, Democrat, or Republican, I think most Americans understand how rare and precious this thing that we call America is. They understand that it is our solemn duty to preserve it for future generations. And they're willing to join this new coalition that President Trump is trying to assemble if the mainstream media would only allow him to do so. But assembling this coalition of people who love this country, who have the capability of fixing it, fixing it. And of course, who else is going to fix it other than men and women who actually work that's what we've got going for us. So my, my appeal to anybody listening to this, I don't care whether you're Republican, Independent, Democrat, Libertarian, I don't care what your pl political affiliation. If you love this country, if you realize it is in peril, that we have major challenges, and you realize that the only or the best way of addressing those problems fixing this nation is if we do it as a unified people, a United States of America. Please, please join us. Please join us and make America great again. God bless all of you. God bless President Trump and God bless America.